Mennonites are a pie of Christian Anabaptist denominations named after a Frisian priest named Menno Simons, 1496 to 1561. Simons, through his writings, articulated and formalized the teachings of earlier Swiss founders who espoused a relatively simple earth-based faith in Jesus Christ premised on the collaboration of Jesus with his disciples. The Wiener Taufer, or again Baptists, or Anabaptists, became part of a broad revolutionary and reactionary movement against the practices and theology of the Roman Catholic Church during the Protestant Reformation. Both the Catholic and Protestant states in which they lived soon regarded them with suspicion because of the extremist element of their preaching of a non-secular and pacifist lifestyle. Even Luther, Calvin, and Zwingli, better known reformers of the era, cast worrisome glances at these pseudo-utopians. Rather than fight, some Anabaptist groups fled to the neighboring states that at first tolerated their radical belief in adult baptism. Anabaptist missionary martyrs were regarded as superb obstructionists, denouncing the ministers and magistrates uncowed by danger, invincible in disputation, and unconquerable under torture. How could such people learn to live with each other? wondered a Yale professor of ecclesiastical history, Roland Bainton, author of his book titled The Age of the Reformation. Menno's theology drew a small gathering of sympathizers in a country we call the Netherlands, and many had Frisian blood, that is, of Germanic origins with Dutch mixed in. Frisian dialects still are recognized as official languages in both the Netherlands and Germany. Almost 150 years after the widespread religious cultural rebellions of the 16th century, in the 17th, a believer named Jacob Amon, wearied of the moderating influences of the Mennonite Church in Switzerland and South Germany. He preferred stricter obedience to Christ and a set penalty to be imposed on individuals who wander off the narrow path of righteousness. Shunning was his verdict of choice. Amon and his Alsatian Anabaptist followers split from the other Mennonite congregations in the 1690s, and Jacob's followers became known as Amish Mennonites. In later years, other schisms among the Amish resulted in such groups as the Old Order Amish, New Order Amish, the Conservative Conference, and numerous other groups. From 1812 to 1860, in the U.S., a major wave of Mennonite immigrants, mostly farmers, moved westward to Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, and Missouri. These Swiss-German-speaking Mennonites, along with the Amish, mostly emigrated from the Alsace-Lorraine area of Europe, as well as from Switzerland.
northern New York State, Lewis and Jefferson counties, Jeb's home, attracted a small nucleus of descendants of persons who had assigned themselves the label Apostles of the Reformation. Jeb was born in the shadow, or was it the light, of the conservative conference type of social order. His youth was that of a Mennonite, a conservative Mennonite, and not strictly Amish. But many of his relatives living across the U.S. border at Niagara Falls, in Canada's Ontario province, sported beards, drove buggies or black cars, and fostered huge families composed of double-digit multitudes of offspring. These people loved the land and were experts with building tools in the carpenter's hand. They were inherently self-sufficient as farmers and craftsmen. However, Jeb didn't take to hammering nails and disliked the slobbering cows and never milked them. So he was an outlier from the early days. 